All right, gang, let's dive right into it. Member credit system, you, the website owner, will be able to manually assign credits to members, which can then be used for future purchases on uh, your website. And we're creating some actions where members can automatically get credit rewards based on actions like upgrading or signing up and things like that. So we do have a sample demo site here just for the credits demo. Let's take a look at what this looks like. So right now we are logged into a member account and they'll be able to see if they have any credits available. And you as the uh, website admin, you can also add credits manually for a member. So let's go to search members. And let's look for that member there, number 37. All right, and if we go to payment history, you'll have a tab here under the transactions tab credits and it'll show you all the credit uh, history of when this person got credits used credits and things like that so let's say a, a member's having an issue or there was a billing uh, discrepancy on your site with the member you could issue a refund for them but perhaps instead to save the funds you might want to instead give them some more credits maybe a little bit more than uh, what the refund is for you'll be able to add credits to that member that might help smooth things over for whatever billing discrepancy or, or issue that happened on the website so you can enter a credit amount let's say we want to give them a hundred dollars you can add an internal note so to prevent a uh, paid refund and we'll go ahead and save the changes and just like you can add credits, you can also deduct credits. So let's look at this person's uh, billing information here in their dashboard. Right now it was zero, but I added 100. We should see this update to 100. Okay, perfect. So how can credits be used? Um, well, right now credits can be used uh, if they're going to upgrade, if they're going to pay per post, if they're gonna purchase a digital product, purchase a lead on the website. Uh, in this case, uh, let's purchase, use the pay per post and purchase a classified listing using credits. So new classified, this is the pay per post. So new classified now is $20 if I want to post a classified on this website. I have $100 of credits. So new classified. So here is my review order. It says $20 of my $100 of available credits will be used. So I'm gonna continue with the purchase. So the member's not gonna come out of pocket for anything. Their, their credits are going to be used. And now I can post a classified listing. So what's cool is if I go to my billing history as the member, so you can see I had 100 credits. Now I only have 80 credits because if I look at my payment history, I purchased Add New Classify, and it was $20, and $20 of credits were used. So I was actually charged $0 for my credit card. So this is a really great way to, you can give credits to your members. You know, If they sign up for free, uh, you can actually grant credits during the sign up process. I'll show you how that works. Let's actually log out of here. And if we go to the finance tab and go to membership plans, let's look at the membership plan three, the free account. Now you can assign credits right now. The action that this is gonna be released with is you can give credit rewards when members sign up or when members upgrade. So maybe when people sign up for free, you give them $50 worth of credits that they can then use on leads or paper posts around the site. A great way to incentivize people to sign up to the site. So. Let's say this free sign up here, this free account, if we scroll down, um, over here we can see you have a few options, display the available credits inside the member's dashboard. So that's their ability to see if they have credits or not in their billing section of the dashboard. And here's the cool part, reward credits to assign after sign up. Reward credits to sign after upgrading to this plan. Now this is the free sign up, so the free accounts, so I don't think anyone will upgrade to this, but let's sign up as a free member and see these 100 credits assigned uh, to my account. So let's go to the sign up page. So we'll just do Jason at jason.com. Now in a phase two, and this is really cool, and I don't want to get ahead of myself here, but you'll be able to have a field here, and the person signing up can put a referral ID, the member ID of, of the person who referred them, 
and you'll be able to give credits to people who are referring new signups to your site. So it's quasi like an affiliate program and you'll be able to have a, an input field here and it can give credit to a member's ID who referred the signup. Uh, so that's a cool direction that this can go in as well. So I just signed up as a free member. Let's go to the billing information tab. And it says here, I have $100. So I got $100 of credit rewards just for signing up to the site. In this case, we can also use it to upgrade my plan. You can choose if you want to grant credits and things like that. But once somebody has credits, they can do things like the paper post, purchase leads with their credits. Let's upgrade my plan to membership plan one. So this is a paid plan and we'll do the monthly. And again, here it says $20 of my $100 available credits will be used. So I'll go ahead and change my membership plan. And because this is a paid subscription, I will still need to put a credit card on file. And this is just a test, uh, test payment gateway here. So we should be able to put a card on file and then continue with upgrading my plan with credits. There we go. So the credit card's on file authorizing the payment. It's gonna be use my credits and it should upgrade me to membership plan one. There we go. So the member credit system, I think there's gonna be a lot of use cases for the member credit system and I'm excited to see how the community uses that add-on.